a lot of contributors. There really were, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of our effort. I thought the one thing that we, we've been getting a little bit better. We've got, we're not where we're going to be yet. We're going to keep improving, but I thought we did a lot of things. I thought we shared the ball better tonight. Uh, I thought we looked for each other a lot better tonight, and, and we've been doing that the last couple days in practice, and I think they, you know, we just did a couple, we call them squirrely drills or whatever, to kind of get us to think about it a little bit more and think about the importance of an assist, and, and really it was just a matter of giving us a visual to let us see what was open, but I, I thought our players really adjusted to how Evansville played defense and looked for what they gave us. Speaking of defense, you came out with that zone the first half, and, and I think you frustrated them. Fight didn't get a point, and they didn't really shoot well from three. And that sort of set the tone for the game plan with your zone defense. It did, and as long as we rebound well out of the zone, then I think it's a very viable defense for us. And, and, I, and I thought our players did a good job. We made a couple little adjustments um, at halftime, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that. I think we messed on uh, messed up on it maybe like once the whole second half but that's that's pretty good for making some adjustments and and it's it's a type of zone that we can we can kind of maneuver different things around with it but it doesn't work if you don't play with energy and if you don't rebound and I thought we did a great job with that tonight got to give a lot of credit to these two here and the rest of our team for just the effort tonight what did you do particularly on fight was it just notice what she was doing or just uh, keep an eye on her or Really, I think it was just awareness by these guys. One of the challenges, you know, we gave them was to try to limit her to a certain amount of points and things because she was their leading scorer. And we kind of haven't done a great job with that in the first two outings. We've let their leading scorers be leading scorers, and we just needed to lock in a little bit more. And, and I really think it was more a credit to their focus. Allie, uh, you had an exceptional game tonight, 14 points, 9 rebounds, and a good floor game. What, what did you think about the way you played and the way the team I think we played together a lot better today than we have been. Um, we focused a lot on communication in the last two practices, and that really led our defense. I think and our defense powered our offense, and then we were just able to find each other. Uh, Gila, you had uh, 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 15 tonight, is that right? Who was that? Hold on. <laughs> 13. 13, yeah. 13. Everybody's scoring. So, uh, nice game. Hit that bank shot. They got the five, get the bank shot. Took the stars. Those were like two real key plays of the game. Uh, talk about the way you played, the way you thought you played tonight. Um, I thought I played pretty good, um, and with all like all my, my teammates passing me the ball and that stuff, I think that's what really got me to play good and communicating, um, being open, getting open, so I can like be able to shoot the shot and yeah. Paul, can you talk about the way Allie? I think they moved. Mm -hmm. You know, I think one of the things, and, and part of that is us sharing the ball and reversing the ball. But offensively, and, and we've, we've changed a few things and tweaked a few things, but I think they feel a little bit more freedom to move. And I think any time, you know, and I, I hate to bring up past players that have played here in front of us, but there are certain players that came in and they really moved well and they, and they scored well. And I think it, it's just not standing still and watching the ball. We kind of were very stagnant our first couple games where whoever had the ball, they were moving and we're all standing there watching her. And now there's a lot more movement, which, which leads to more assists and more scoring. And it's a lot more fun. And, and it seemed like everybody got in there. Um, Kayla had another nice game, 15 and, and five assists. And, uh, uh, you know, five people in double figures and a, a couple more people close to her. So uh, that's something about this group. Yeah, and I think we, we've got a lot of different weapons on this team. And I think sometimes it depends on who the opponents are, how different people will play. But but I think we've got a really good offensive squad. We're just continuing to grow together to find out what each other does and kind of what's open. And, and I thought, you know, we did a good job with that. But I thought our defense, I thought, you know, Allie made a great comment. I thought our defense gave us an awful lot of offense. Has to start on the defensive end. Allie, did, did the players maybe talk about see a sense of urgency in playing better this game, I mean, as a team? Well, we, we've tweaked our defense a little bit the past couple of days in practice, and I think that allowed us to feel like we could play ourselves on defense. And then again, the communication and coach challenging us to keep certain players in low figures, I think we always step up to a challenge, so that definitely helped. And this is sort of a key game for you guys, because you got a tough stretch, and then you want to get right front of your mind, get that win, and is that, do you sort of see that this game as sort of a key game for you? 
I think so, yeah. Coming out, playing well tonight is obviously going to push us and give us confidence in our next couple games. Paul, it doesn't get any easier. This is a three and three in the brass up here for you. No, three, three teams that are playing extremely well. And, you know, but that's the one thing. I and, and I said this on the radio after the game, and I really mean this honestly. I think, you know, I hope, and I know these guys do, as college athletes, you want experiences. You want to go play people. We don't always schedule the easiest schedule in the world, and we've got, I think, three really tough ones coming right at us. But you can look at it as those are going to be really tough, and I believe they are. Or we can look at them, what a great opportunity. Let's go play. I mean, isn't that why you come to play basketball? And, and we're going to give ourselves opportunities. And, you know, you, can, you never have the opportunity to knock off some really good opponents if you don't play them. So we're going to play them, and we're going to go out and – we're going to fight hard, and we're going to keep improving. That's our goal. I guess, Tim, you, you um, see this as probably gratifying to them the way you play tonight, and this is it. But, you know, it's nice to have those guys back. Yeah, I, I tell you what, these, these guys have been – we were all really disappointed after our, our last game. And, and I could see it on their faces. You could see it when we were watching film. But give them all the credit in the world. When we stepped out on the practice floor, we had an early practice – on Saturday, so that was kind of tough after the game, the turnaround. But when we stepped out on the floor Monday, I mean, I knew if we came out tonight how we did Monday and Tuesday, we were going to be fine. Because, you know, sometimes as a coach, you see the improvement every day, but if they don't do it during the game, fans don't see it and everything else. I knew right then this squad believes in each other and they're going to they're gonna push and play hard. And they did. They, they bounced back at practice and did all the right things. And and that makes me proud is how they approach each day because if we approach each day at practice that we want to improve and get better, we will be very satisfied with the end result at the end of this year. Okay.